the latest situation. The counteroffensive is going as planned. As much is as, it going as planned? Well, as much as we can uh, have it going as planned with the amount of weapons and the quality of the ammunition uh, that we're getting. Uh, the steadier the deliveries and the bigger the deliveries of the armaments for Ukraine, the faster the counteroffensive can go. The problem the is you've, got, you've regained, thumb. what, less than 1% of the ground that you lost before the invasion? Unfortunately, that is and the case. And you only case. have, like, another month to go before... Another month or so before the cold and the winter settles in, before we can, uh, before we will have to actually pause until the springtime. And this is the sad news for us, and I think not just for us, but all the countries that are supporting Ukraine right now. Uh, is that continuing? Because um, I get the impression, I'm certainly told, that there is, uh, you're having to try harder and harder to get aid specifically from Europe and other Western countries. Uh, it is getting harder and harder because Russia is winning the battle of a protracted conflict today. So they are uh, winning? Uh, in terms of protracted conflict strategies that they are trying to impose on Ukraine and the world. Uh, unfortunately, we have to say that they are gaining the upper hand yet again. Uh, they have done this back in 2014. The lessons weren't learned. The aid was being delivered too slowly and uh, at a non-stable rate, and this is the results that we are getting. I am a firm believer that Russia could have been stopped with their escalation of the aggression in February 2022, when Ukraine was asking for weapons through January, through October, November, December 2021, but was not being taken seriously, and when the offer on the table for us Ukrainians was to surrender to Putin's demands.